Hello everyone, my name is Yi Cheol, and I am happy to present our work, Dieting Mirror. This work is in collaboration with KAIST, IBM, and Korea Tech. Every parent dreams of a happy family, but the reality is tough. Let me give you an example of a typical morning routine of a parent and a young kid. A parent is always busy every morning, but the kid is not cooperating with the parent's plan to be quick. The kid is slowly refuses to brush the teeth and resist going to the kindergarten. Eventually, the parent runs out of patience and takes a shortcut, expressing anger, yelling out loudly, and forcing the kid. At night, the parent reflects on this morning incident and promises not to repeat it. But it happens again and again. What will be the key to break this vicious circle? We introduce parental reflective functioning a theory in psychology which refers to one's capacity to understand the mental states of self and others. It is known that parents with a higher level of reflective functioning show better relationships with their child. Reflective functioning has two major mechanisms, perspective taking and self-awareness. However, it is extremely difficult to practice reflective functioning during everyday interactions with the child. From our preliminary interview with a parent, we found that there is a significant gap between the knowledge and practice. It turned out that there are three main hurdles for this gap. First, the mental and physical load of parents is too heavy to smoothly interact with their child. Second, conflicting situations occur in many different real-life situations. Third, there is no channel for the parents to be consciously aware of their own mental status and reflect upon their expressions during interactions with their child. To overcome these hurdles, we set up three design requirements. First, it should have no additional mental and physical effort. Second, it should operate in general real-life situations. Third, it should provide a direct and immediate channel for parents to recognize the internal state of themselves and the child. To this end, we propose Dieting Mirror, a wearable smart meter comprehensively designed to facilitate the parent's reflective functioning during everyday interaction at their homes. Dieting Mirror consists of two main hardware, a child-worn vest and a tiny smartphone attached to the vest. It automatically recognizes an event of a parent-child face-to-face interactions by periodically detecting the parent's face. Once ongoing interaction is detected, the adding mirror continuously displays the tracked face by cropping and magnifying the face from the captured image. Note that a wide-angle lens is attached to the camera to increase an opportunity of detection. The adding mirror successfully facilitates reflective functioning of parents. Through the mirrored face, the parent can continuously get self-awareness by seeing herself. At the same time, the parent can perspective take the child by instantly recognizing the second person's view. We carefully designed, implemented, and evaluated dieting mirror following the three-page study procedure. First, we conducted a preliminary interview which I introduced before. Second, we crafted a vest form factor through multiple iterations. We also implemented an Android application for the second person view. Third, we conducted the field deployment with six families for four weeks. Each family used the dieting mirror every day at their homes. Findings From the weekly interviews, we obtained an extensive volume of experiences and anecdotes. We grouped them into these five main themes. In this talk, I would like to introduce the first three themes. Surprise emerged in the first few days of its deployment. For parents, it was the first time they were aware of their faces during their live interactions with their children. They were astonished that their faces were considerably different from what they originally imagined. Surprise happened in a variety of situations and reasons, such as overreactions and false reactions. Next, we found that the participants could empathize with the difference in how their children would see the participants themselves and the surroundings in their homes. With these visual perspectives, the parents continued inferring what the child would have felt 
from what they saw. Behavior change. Over the deployment period, the participants were proud of themselves for improving their interaction styles. We found that dieting mirror was an effective trigger for in-situ behavior changes. Participants recalled that dieting mirror helped them regulate themselves before going critical when their emotions were escalating. We also observed early indications that the participants could keep changing their behaviors without dieting mirror. Our contribution is threefold. First, we adopt the concept of parental reflective functioning into the agenda of computer-supported parenting. Second, we newly present the design of the second-person view. Third, from the field deployment, we show an initial effect of our experimental design. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for listening.